how'd you get on the show? Mentioned to me by one of my management team members, mm. and I, uh, I I thought about it for a bit and said, let's try out, and we had an audition in Chicago, uh, and I got through that round, flew me out to L.A. And, uh, for the executive callback, and then got through that round and came out here to perform for the chairs and the blinds, and... Mm. Made it through there. All right, so, so you're on Team Kelly, and you know, yep. being being 40 years old, you know her from her American Idol days back when she won the show. Um, is is she who you thought she was in person? Absolutely. I th- I think that she's exactly who she is mm-hmm. on TV. You no, know, across the board, you, you see what you get when you when you meet her and talk to her. She's amazing. Mm-hmm. Just a g- great personality, very bubbly, very much a cheerleader, and someone that I most definitely need. Uh, throughout this competition. Now, coming up next week, you've got this this cross uh, cross battle thing going on, where you where you're going to show up, and then th- then you figure out who you're against. Does does that change your approach yep. any? No, absolutely not. I'm actually really happy that they're not telling us who we're going up against. Otherwise, it kind of get in my head. You know, I I don't want to be I don't want to try to do what other people are doing to try to match them or beat them in their own game. Um, I just want to go up there and do what I do and stay true to who I am as a performer. And I think that's all we, we really need to do. That's how we're going to give our best performances is, is to just get up there and be ourselves. Do you think that, that your style, being as old as you are, is a lot different than these teenagers who are on the show as well? Oh, I don't know. That's tough to say because there's a lot of performers who are younger that have been performing their whole life. And I've kind of started performing when I was, you know, fresh out of college. So... I, as far as performing goes and, and experience, um, there's some people around here that, you know, we're, I'm pretty evenly matched with. Um, but I do believe that I have, I, have a, a, uh, I have a lot of things that I've been doing in my life and um, a lot of other life experiences that I have that I, that, that I kind of keep close to me and, um, uh, you know, that I hope that will, will carry me through them. Do they ask you anything for, for advice when it comes to music? No. No, no, it's uh, it's really kind of like a, uh, it's like a camp, you know, it's uh, <laughs> people mill around and you interact and you kind of connect with the people you're, you're like-minded individuals and, um, you know, everybody is very supportive, everybody's great. I'm finding myself to, to ask other people <laughs> uh-huh. about techniques and, right. and other things, like especially social media. Um, as you mentioned many times, I am uh, an older contestant, yeah. um, and uh, they really know they got a grip on on how to present themselves on the social media pl- platforms, which I'm not very well versed in. So I'm learning a lot here. Um, although winning is great at this point in the competition, does it matter if you win or lose? Oh, I feel like I've already won. This is just a wonderful opportunity for anyone. If you get past, I mean, even coming out here, if you don't get a chair turn, this competition is really only good for you no matter how far you get in it so i'm happy where i'm at and i hope to go further of course but mm-hmm. you know i'm going to take what i what, what i get and uh and and use it to my advantage as much as possible all right bessie best of luck in uh, the show and your career thank you so much